The historic town of Wallace, rich in history and renowned for their superior hospitality. The town of Wallace was originally known as Placer Center. The 80 acres filled with large cedar trees and a swampy base was purchased by Colonel William Wallace in 1883. The following year, Colonel Wallace built a log cabin and invited his wife Lucy to move in with him. When Lucy arrived, she fell in love with the town and decided to name it after the other love in her life, Wallace. Later in 1887, silver mines boomed and everything from a school to a brewery opened up. The town of Wallace found its roots. But it hasn't been the smoothest road for the old mining town. The feds first came to Wallace in the 1890s when mining wars broke out. In 1910, thousands of soldiers were sent to Wallace to fight the country's largest wildfire. Later, in 1967, the Federal Highway Administration wanted to take out the town of Wallace to construct Interstate 90. City officials set out to put almost every building in the town on the National Historic Register list, meaning that the highway would have to go above and around. And finally, in 1990, 150 FBI agents busted the town's bars, poker machines, and brothels, closing many businesses in the small town. By this point, you're probably asking what in the world draws people to this wild town? Well, a lot of things. You can tour an old mine near Wallace. The Sierra Silver Mine Tour will take you around town and talk about some of the historical points in the area. The trolley ride consists of two parts. Uh, the trip up to the mine, I talk about the downtown area and things and some of the older buildings and so on. And then I take them up to the Sierra Silver Mine and turn them over to the miners and then they go underground and the miners talk to them for about 45-50 minutes and then I go up and pick them up and make a return trip where I take them through some of the older historic homes here in Wallace on the return trip. The Northern Pacific Depot is a huge destination for many. You can walk through the building that was once several hundred feet away from where it is now. Being a museum we have lots of exhibits upstairs, artifacts, that are really cool that have to do with um, the trains that went through here and a uh, little history of the town. And you can even tour an old brothel that would typically host several hundred men a night. But there's nothing that attracts more tourists to Wallace than the center of the universe. It's a curiosity. Why do you get to be the center of the universe? Why do you get to be the center of the universe? A question that many have been asking for years. In the Center of the Universe special, we'll look back to a late September evening and explore the masterminds behind the story. The year was 2004. Four local friends, Shauna Hillman, David Bond, Ray DeMont, and Bill Dyer were at the Smokehouse Bar and Grill at about 3 a.m. Yes, I'm sure you can imagine what they were doing at that time. A silver investment conference was being held in the Silver Valley at the time, and the friends wanted to come up with something that attracted interest to the Coeur d'Alene Mining District. And what better way to do that than to create something that makes them want to think that we are the center of. As the four ordered another round to brainstorm, Chris Fall, owner of Silver Valley Engineering, joined the group. Uh, either Dave Bond or an associate of Ray Dumont started talking about the center of the universe. Weeks before that night, David Bond, a fellow journalist, had traveled to Moscow, Russia to interview an individual who had purchased the Stillwater Platinum Group in Montana. Bond said while he was down there, he had a few days to kill, so he wandered around the Kremlin city. Bond discovered something that he found to be quite unique. So wandering around Red Square one day, I see this wonderful monument, you know, uh, right in the paver bricks that, uh, that delineated every distance in kilometers to significant Russian cities. And it was put there by Stalin and it was regarded as the center of Russia. Bond took a picture of the monument and showed that very same image to the rest of the group that evening. All right, that's the center of Russia. But what about the center of the universe? So the five of them carried their beverages out into the intersection of 6th and Bank and stood near the manhole cover. Well, of course you realize that that manhole cover is on the main sewer pipe from Mullen to Page. So 
that would inspire it alone. I mean, it has qualifications underneath it, doesn't it? As they were in the middle of the road toasting to their new idea, a Shoshone County deputy drives by and doesn't stop. He doesn't stop us. He doesn't tell us to go back in. He doesn't tell us that we are holding glass instead of red cups outside. We take that as a sign. And he went for it. And now it is the center of the universe. Within weeks, the group moved forward with the idea, but before they could dub the manhole cover the center of the universe, they had to develop a theory that would back their claim up. It may have come out of a conversation about the EPA who had just issued a record of decision where they had used their hocus pocus uh, probabilistic modeling to determine that the Silver Valley was the most polluted place in the universe. So. Uh, based on that, we decided if it's the most polluted place based on EPA's modeling, we could use that very same modeling to prove it's the center of the universe and nobody could disprove it. The name of their theory is probabilism, a theory that they claim the Environmental Protection Agency uses quite too often. The EPA began cleaning up the Coeur d'Alene Mining District in the 1980s. They discovered high levels of lead and other harmful minerals in the Silver Valley's dirt and streams. Ever since the Superfund cleanup began decades ago, some local residents have been uneasy with their presence. This theory of probabilism, if you can't prove it wrong, then it must be right, was taken from the EPA and used in their claim that Wallace is the center of the universe. So we encourage somebody to, or anybody, to prove us wrong and, and we will tell them that it's the theory of probabilism. Since the town declared Wallace to be the center of the universe, several weddings and major events have taken place at the monument. It's even attracted authors and celebrities. Well, it's the kind of thing that Wallace is. I mean, if it's oddball, we've probably got it. You know, we, we, we toast high tide. <laughs> the town of Wallace later hosted a ceremony and former mayor Ron Garritone read his famous proclamation stating, I, Ron Garritone, as a mayor of Wallace, Idaho, do hereby solemnly declare and proclaim Wallace to be the center of the universe. And those words would forever change the small town of Wallace, Idaho, the center of the universe. John Webb, KWAL Radio News.